What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Mickey Quill, and I'm up with a bit of a treat today because I filmed a couple of videos the other day on my first inky work day that I've had for like eight weeks, and I'm using the November Citrus Twist Pocket Life Kit for this page. But I filmed two Project Life process videos, and this first one was speedy, so I speeded it up double time which is what I usually speed my videos up to and it was only six minutes so I decided to combine them together in one longer video so gave you a little special treat um, today because you got two videos in one so this first one straight away I needed a four by six card for this one because the pocket uh, page protector that I'm using is a uh, one that has four by six holes on it so I grabbed this currently card and I didn't mind covering up that uh, the labely bit on that um, card because I was I had all of that journaling space there anyway so this is a very cute little picture of beans uh, in his little car walker we he was in a rear facing uh, car seat because what happened is my little my little big bub uh, outgrew his zero to six month capsule after maybe two months, I think he outgrew it. He's very, very tall, which means his shoulders go above the uh, marker for shoulder safety very quickly. And so he outgrew the zero to six capsule. I think it was about two and a half months or so. So we bought a new rear facing and forward facing, it can convert, um, car seat that goes from zero to four years old and he started to get too big for the rear facing option for that his shoulders went above the line again um so we were turning it around i think this weekend i think uh, so like magic the journaling has arrived um but the funny thing is i he got his vaccinations last week and they measured him and he's in the hundredth percent oh, he's above the hundredth percentile for head size so that means that less than one percent of the baby population of his age have heads his size he's got a very giant head um and he's also in the hundred uh, 95th percentile for his weight and his height so he's he's much bigger he's probably the he's about the size of like a 11 month old and he's only seven months um he's just a he's just a big boy he's just and the doctor said that it's fine because they're all within uh similar percentiles of each other so if he was in like the 50th for one the 85th for another and the 100th for another it'd be a concern but because they're all quite similar he's okay he's just he's just a lot bigger than he needs to be so here after my rambling uh we went out we actually went on a family date for once now there is i think the vlog for this one's already up if i have vlogged correctly because we have a daily vlog channel mr and mrs rad if you haven't subscribed to it already um where we show little adventures that we go on and just daily life and sneak peeks of my craft room and creative things that i'm up to um and we went on a family date day to a beautiful spot here on the central coast called patonga and it's just a really nice kind of hidden away beach um, and we got some hot chips but before that we had breakfast so I got some photos of that and there's Mr. Moo so we had converted the because he was no longer oh no maybe this was when maybe this was just use no this was just using the car seat for the first time the rear facing car seat yes because we had to also convert his pram because the pram had the adapters in it to put the uh, zero to six month capsule straight in there so we had to convert it so i took a photo of him in his new pram um, and he was very very happy to be able to sit up and stare at everything archie suffers from massive fomo uh, fear of missing out on anything that is happening around him he is a sticky beak an absolute sticky beak and wants to be involved in everything everyone is doing around him so i think the the change of pram suited him well so i decided this beachy picture it kind of just needed a something i wasn't quite sure what it was and then i found this little uh word strip in the ephemera pack 
the exclusive Citrus Twist Ephemera pack and it said all uh, it is well with my soul and I just thought that was perfect because it really was a nice day we um we needed it I think at this point we're always busy we we have very busy busy weekends and lives and it's sometimes nice to to actually take a day to just rest and relax and not be hustling and bustling here and there and everywhere um with deadlines to to be places at certain times so i i decided that was the perfect one and see that one was done so there wasn't much to do on this layout but i really like the way it looks um i have been enjoying i've really been enjoying the citrus twist cards they've always been my favorite ones i used to sub to sub trips i used to sub to citrus twist i'd say three years ago probably three years ago and I subbed to them for ages and ages and ages and it was only when I joined two other uh, design two different design teams and Aussie one and an uh, American one that I cancelled my subscription because I was getting so many kits every month I didn't have enough space to scrap and I had to get the design team stuff for the other two kit clubs so I cancelled my subscription which I was sad about because I never found cards that that met my citrus twist expectations and I'm not saying that just because I'm on the DT they really just Trina does an amazing job of covering a good combination of journaling ones and filler ones I find with some others that you get too many journaling ones or too many just pattern backgrounds but yeah it's a good mix so this one is I don't think it's the back of that other page I think it's a different page but I included it because it's using the exact same kit and I literally made it a minute after the other one. The thing that I like is that there's always a paper pad or some bits of paper included as well. And so I decided to use this paper to make my own 4x6 card because I wanted something that wasn't it wasn't too busy and there's a really pretty card that says hello that's an actual four by six card in the kit and i didn't want to ruin it i wanted to save it up for when i could actually see the hello part now this is this is a bit of an eye-opener as to uh why my videos are sometimes late on youtube because i have someone who is always watching He's always watching and at the moment he has he started to crawl quite a few weeks ago which is fun because we haven't baby proofed or unpacked the house properly yet um, so basically the only chance that I have to edit videos is after he goes to sleep at night time and yep that's about it um so i have my like i said i have my first inky work day but i didn't do any editing i just filmed all day because i don't have any videos left um to upload and so yes i need uh we should be back on schedule with my work days now so i can actually edit videos but like i said sometimes sometimes my free youtube videos might be um, a smidgen late or I might ac accidentally skip one um, just because it's tricky to find time when there is a little Mr. Mischief determined to get into every crevice of the house that he's not allowed into. <laughs> so here I was I was contemplating on changing the paper for a moment and then I decided I'd just mat my picture in a different paper and I thought this one would be good because kind of had that blue of the face the Facebook blue I like to call it and this is a really really sweet picture um, I met a few subscribers um, actually no she wasn't a subscriber at this point no she wasn't um, I met Nicole um, and Melissa at a retreat hi girls if you're listening um, at a retreat that I went to and she actually won no what was it melissa won it and gave it to nicole i think that's how it went um an artwork that i did for the year before's retreat that i created and um donated for their fundraiser and she uh won the artwork and it's now hanging in her house and she got to meet me so that was really exciting that i got to actually meet someone that has some of their my artwork in their house it's so weird to think of that um because i made the I made the canvases actually these are on my second channel let's get inky 
um, the canvas, the mixed media canvases, the girls, uh, one of them she has. And uh, it's just bizarre because when I made them, I, you know, donated them off to the fundraisers that they went to. And then I just didn't think of them again. And I didn't think of people actually buying them and having them. I know that sounds really stupid because that's the point of a fundraiser, Adele. But um, yeah, it just, it, it was really nice. It's the first time I've ever met someone that had something of mine in their house. It was cool. So I'm just adding some journaling. When I first saw that notes piece in the ephemera pack, I wasn't sure how I was going to use it because it's quite a large piece, but it was perfect for this four by six. So that's a little tip. If you have larger pieces of ephemera that you're not quite sure how to use, save them up for the four by six pockets that you're using, maybe with a collage of photos or you're just doing some journaling uh, because they come in handy and they, they help kind of fill up big spaces as well. So that's this card done, that doily's from my stash. I just needed to add a little bit of texture to this one and I'm looking for a stamp to use and I think I use one about fabulous, do I? Not quite sure. Ooh, I need to talk about this. So this is a new ink pad that I'm obsessed with. It's the Dilutions uh, black ink pad. It's not a distress one. It's just a black ink pad. It came in uh, a class pack that I got when I did the Diane Reevely uh, classes the other a few months ago. And it is beautiful. I need to find more because this has this is just a small one. Um, I'd love a larger sized one if it comes in a larger size. But yes, if you're looking for a black ink pad, I don't, I don't know if it's permanent. I don't know. I don't don't know. Sorry, um, but it, it comes off the stamps beautifully because I use stays on. I know it's a bit naughty, the Stamper girls and boys out there will be shaking their heads at me, but a lot of the time I do stamp on photos and it's easiest to use stays on when you stamp on photos because it is such a strong permanent ink um, and it's not very slippery. I know that sounds silly, but I've tried other black inks and they kind of slide on the photo a little bit. Um, only problem is it's it's not fun to get off stamps so I don't actually clean them which is really naughty really really bad don't don't do as I do clean your stamps peeps if you want to keep them forever or for quite a while clean them um, but I'm very naughty and I don't but this is probably one of my favorite stamping things I've done since the last was it last month that I did the ghost um, stamping on the date card the pink date card using the citrus twist stamps it could have been but this I freaking love so there was a stamp that said I think it said wife wife mum boss I think it was and so what I did is I stamped it around the border of um, this filler card and I just used some washi tape to tape off the bits that I didn't need because you can see there I have a tiny gap but if I had just stamped it as normal I would have stamped off um, the rectangle that I was making of the the words so washi tapes your best friend if you ever want to mask off part of a stamp maybe you have a stamp that has a sentiment under the, a picture and you don't want the sentiment you just want the picture or vice versa washi tape will help you cover it up so you can stamp it without any worry of um, it going onto your page so the tip for this is to use a stamp that has small words you don't want really long phrases or very fancy things uh, and that's why I love the citrus twist stamps because they're they're so tiny and typewritey. I have a I have a thing for the typewriter font, and that's done. So the reason why I did wife mum boss is because it was a picture of my craft math. Um, I had a scrapping marathon with some of my Patreon girls, and there was a lot of mess, a lot of mess. So here I have two four by uh, two three by fours that I'm attaching to a single four by six card, basically just to act as um, uh, backing piece I guess you could say just to hold them together in the pocket the reason why I'm using a 4x6 pocket for this one is because the photo on the back is um, a 4x6 so I needed I needed it for the previous page 
This is a picture from Snapchat. I'm always big on saving screenshots from social media. I think it's a great way to include a little peek of your week and often already has the journaling on there so you don't have to do too much to it. So this little card says family time and it actually matches the um, the background color of my text perfectly that I <laughs> that I did in Snapchat. So winning at that. So I add a little flower basically just because I thought it was a pretty flower and uh, it was a similar color. I thought I'd include it and I do add some journaling, but I needed something else and I was wondering what to add and I'd finally decide on stacking another little word phrase here. Oh, my journaling appeared so quickly and magically then. Um, yeah, I decided to stack another word phrase just to kind of add a little bit of an added element I guess I, I really love different fonts of words piled on top of each other like this um, and this card is almost done do I do a stamp or do I do I do I who knows adding a tiny little heart from my stash and that one's good to go now this this is funny I found this on Facebook I think it was and if you're of my vintage so if you're a now, if you started high school in the early 2000s um, or were in primary school in the 90s, you will be familiar with the software Paint and its magical ability to entertain you for hours before the internet was a thing. Before we had Facebook, MySpace and all of those other time consuming things, Instagram, Pinterest, we can spend hours on Pinterest. We had paint and we would use that curvy line tool to draw all of these shapes and then use the jug to fill them in in all different colors. Please let me know in the comments if there's anyone else that did this because I saw this and I just went, oh, that was so me. And I feel for the children of the future because they won't, like that post says, they won't understand the joys of wasting hours of experimenting with paint. Um, knowing my luck Archie will probably be fluent in Photoshop by the age of six or something ridiculous like that so thanks for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it so this was using the November Citrus Twist Pocket Life kit um, and I will have a layout something a bit different a layout using the pocket page kit in I think about a week and a half or so um, but until then don't forget to subscribe if you're new I do videos every Wednesday and Saturday Aussie time 7 a.m. Um, unless Mr. Beans is being naughty and I, I don't get a chance to. Um, and I also have a second channel called Let's Get Inky. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.